We're here at Enterprise Connect 2017 in Orlando, Florida, and I have the pleasure, the privilege, of sitting next to Mr. Jan, and I'm going to butcher this, Geldmaker? Geldmacher? It's actually Jan Geldmacher. Macher. Yeah, it's German. German. What does that mean? So Geldmacher is, is very simply, simple to translate. It just means money maker. Okay. That's well, actually, yes, we like this. Okay. And you're here with Sprint. Now, Sprint Business, uh, you've been a little quiet the last few years. Uh, we understand that you have products that are out there to help the, the mobile workforce. You, you uh, try to connect us when we're in the field. But what has Sprint been doing lately that has you excited? So Sprint has a very exciting portfolio to bring to the table. Sprint is not just a wireless or mobile operator, Sprint is also a wireline operator. So for example, we run a network that connects about 155 countries across the world. So it's really a global footprint that we, uh, that we serve. So we can connect multinational global companies around the world. So every site that they run, every production site, every sales offices can be connected through our IP MPLS network. It's a state-of-the-art uh, network environment. It's highly reliable and it's made for the future to support businesses uh, with regard to business critical applications running over that network. So that's wireline, right? Obviously, we also run a wireless network in the US. It is a network that uh, has improved in quality dramatically over the last couple of months and uh, we are now ready to really uh, push forward very, very hard in order to offer our services to uh, enterprise and SMB customers. Uh, Sprint owns a lot of spectrum. That allows us to densify our network very, very fast and create a, a network that is covering uh, the areas that our enterprise and SMB customers require us to cover. Right? So we are very confident that this is the right proposition. But that's not all. So it's wireless, um, but it's also IoT. So we have a fantastic IoT offering. We have about 12 and a half million machines connected to our network. We are growing at a rate of 37% per year in terms of connected devices. IoT is really booming, and if you think forward, you know, using that spectrum that we have, using the platforms that we run, using the 17 year experience that we have in IoT, we will be a player in that market segment as well. I, I like where Sprint is positioned. You, re you really seem to have your foot forward as to what might be the future of connectivity. And, and IoT, of course, is a huge part of that. Now, when we've had guests on, uh, on my show, many times they think of their connectivity as a commodity. They think of it as, well, they buy the big dump pipe and then they fill the big dump pipe with bits and the bits come out elsewhere and then we've got a business. But one of the things that they seem to miss a lot is the fact that when you go with a carrier like Sprint that has experience in this field, it's not just the connectivity, it's also the package, it's the manageability. What does Sprint do for the enterprise? What does it do for the branch manager who might need help from elsewhere? What does it do for the manager who needs to see whether or not his workers in the field are actually doing what they need to be doing? Well, first of all, you're right. right? Connectivity and pure connectivity is a commodity. And you, know, you win in a commodity game if you have uh, superior quality. And this is what we bring to the table. Right? We can only scale if we win through, con uh, through quality. That's what we do in wireline and what we do now in wireless. And then on top of that, you uh, go up the value chain and provide customers with managed services. Because at the end of the day, uh, networks, no matter what they are, wireline or wireless, connect customers to their applications in the cloud. The applications in the cloud are business critical, and therefore the network that connects to the application is also business critical. The service level agreements that we sign up with our customers are key in order to support their future. Now, if you look into what happened in the last couple of years, so uh, we, we tend to compare the uh, technological development of the last 25 years to what happened uh, many hundred million years ago when the Cambrian explosion happened. Cambrian explosion was when, when uh, the life on Earth developed the five senses. And only with these five senses, the life became, you know, exploded in terms of life forms on Earth. The same is actually ha happening today in our IoT and telecommunication world. The number of sensors that will be connected in the future will be going up to the billions and we believe even to trillions. So the, the future will look completely different. Networks today, as our customers have deployed them, are probably not really ready to support that. So in order to, you know, to create networks that transport the volumes of data that billions or trillions of devices produce, 
networks that provide latency that uh, is required to, uh, for example, deploy robotics in business. They are the networks that we deploy right now. And we help our customers to understand what, that ch what the change is, what the need in the future is, and prepare for that future. I really like that, that, that idea that in the past, a 10,000 seat network would have been considered big. Whereas in the future, a 10,000 seat network is, could be a small to medium business. When you start looking at all the sensors that you're going to want to be connecting so that you get that big data. When you're looking at all the devices that will be in the field connected wirelessly, you're right, you could go not just thousands or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions, but tens of millions per enterprise. Right. What, what thinking has to change for the IT manager to survive in the next five years? But as they start thinking about all of the devices that they're going to be connected, most of them, the vast majority of them, outside of their network, what are the things that they don't know? Well, I think they know everything. <laughs> Sometimes they're not brave enough to deploy it, right? It's, it's not enough to be a early adopter. You need to be ahead of the game, right? So you need to revolutionize the way you deploy technology. So disruptors are starting to disrupt disruptors. So that's the way we, we, what, what happens today. If you think about it, Siri was disrupting the user interface into smartphones. Now Alexa is disrupting Siri by going the next level. So this is what's happening. So it's not enough to, to fast follow. It's, it, it is required now to really be brave and, and, and deploy new technology in a way to support your business. So I think what I, what I talk about with CIOs and decision makers in IT very often is how can you use telecommunication and IT products and put them into your products so that you get closer to your customers or even your customers' customers. Connected vehicles are a good way to explain that. So if you think about it, in a, in a car we have today a um, you know, connected uh, com box um, that connects the car to the driver and the driver and the car to the internet or to the OEM. Think about it, it's the first time that the OEM actually know who's sitting in that car because they don't sell that car directly, they sell it through a dealer. And the car is potentially not even owned by the person that drives the car, it's maybe owned by a bank or by a leasing company. Now our technology enables the OEM to get very close to the driver in the car, offer them additional services or use the data that is created in the car to uh, improve the products that they are producing or produce uh, predictive maintenance uh, journeys with the customer. So there's a lot that can be explored right now. And I think our audience gets that. I think our audience understands, that at least they can feel that we are moving to that. But if you were to make that elevator pitch to, uh, to the millions and the hundreds of millions of connected devices that will be activated in the future, what would you tell them that might sway them towards Sprint business. As they're looking at growing their networks and actually taking advantage of some of the new technologies, what's going to make them want to go with a managed solution from your company? Yeah, that's a very good question. Um, you know, when you're a commodity provider, you're comparable, right? So one is like the other. I don't believe so. We are, we are converging our offering. So it's not anymore the distinguishing between wireline and wireless and IoT. It's all converging. You need to be able to run a converged environment for and on behalf of your customers when you talk about managed services. Spectrum is a big uh, uh, key to that. And it's not just working into licensed Spectrum's environments, but also in unlicensed Spectrum environments. IoT is connecting not only SIM cards, it's connecting every device that is out there. It can be Bluetooth, it can be wireline, it can be LoRa, it can be different protocols uh, that need to be taken into account. So this convergence, I believe, is very important, and that is what Spring, Sprint brings, uh, brings uh, to the game. Jan, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you for sharing your vision of the connected future. Now, if they wanted to know more about Sprint business, more about where that converged future will be, where should they go? Well, first of all, Enterprise Connect is a great place to start. So we have a great booth here. We introduce uh, Pepper, Pepper the robot which is an IoT device working with, with senses, uh, uh, the first probably humanoid robot that can read uh, your facial expressions, your tone of voice, and can interact with you like a human. Uh, combined with artificial intelligence, that's a great showcase to experience. If you are not here at Enterprise Connect, I'm joining you wherever you want me with my Salesforce, so just give me a call. We've been speaking with Jan Moneymaker, 
from Sprint. And if you're looking for the converged future, it might be with this man. I'm Father Robert Ballas here. Stay tapped because we've got plenty more from Enterprise Connect 2017.